Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. We're going to continue on with our one page scrolling website build today. We've got an about a section we've done, services section, little team section we did yesterday. Today we're going to move on to our project section and in future videos we're going to do a little testimonial with a slider there, a little portfolio section and a little contact section with a live Google map. So let's continue on with our project section. Here's our site where we left off in the last video. Let's enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once enabled, let's roll down where we want to work. Here's where we left it yesterday, our little team section we built. I'm going to add a new section by simply clicking on the existing section and hitting the little blue button here to add a new section. I'm going to use a regular section for this. And as with the other sections, first thing I want to do is add a little title to our section. So I'm going to add a single row. And we saved our decorated titles to the library here. So I'm going to add from library. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, check out video number two. There's the one page title. I'm going to use this module. And there it is, it's put it in. For anybody that doesn't have this in their library, we're just using 50 pixel default font, uppercase blue with a bit of text shadow there. Great. Well, I want to edit it and call it projects instead of about us for this one. So I'm simply going to go in there and take projects. Great. Fantastic. That's the title done. Down below, I'm going to have three little animated number counters. So I'm going to add three columns to do that. Click anywhere on the row that we've got there, the little green box. Hit the green button for a new row. And I'm going to put in three columns. I'm going to use circle counters for ours today. And let's just roll this down and move this over. There's our little circle counter right there. Okay, before I actually go any further with decorating this, I'm going to put a parallax background in the back of our section here. So let's save this little number counter. So let's go up to our section tab in the top left corner, just click on the field, blue tab for a section. I'm going to hit the cog to go in there. Let's go down to background. And I'm going to pop an image in there, background image. You've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask. And you can use combinations of them. But I'm going to use a simple image for this today. And I'll use the same image as I used before, which is that dark sort of city one there. And just to make this a little more interesting today, I'm going to use the parallax effect. And we've got two different versions here. We've got true parallax. That means if I roll up and down the site, that background will move at a slightly different rate than the foreground there, which is a nice little effect. Well, they've got what they call CSS parallax or fixed background. And that'll keep the image exactly where it is. It won't move at all, which is pretty dramatic. But I'm going to leave mine on true parallax for this today. Great. Now we've got a background in there. I can start decorating this the way that I want to decorate it. OK, so we'll save our section background there. Now let's go back into this module and make it how we want it. Again, I'm going to click on the cog, dark tab for the module. Let's move this over. And you can put in a title here just say web design and what I'm going to do so you can see it a little better is actually put it in there let's go over to my design to their text and this will turn all the text light in color that way we'll be able to see it a bit better there we go there's the web design there's a 50% up there now if you want to do percentage that's fine put in whatever number you want here for this one it's best to do a number between 1 and 100 for the number counters, you can do higher ones. You can do a huge number if you want to, but the actual circle itself will stop at 100. It'll be full at 100 right there. So I'm going to put in, say, 75. And I really don't want a percentage because this is a number of web design projects that we've got there. So in elements just below that, I can turn the percentage sign off. Great. Now, if you want to link this to perhaps one of your projects or something you can do down below here 
Simply put the link in there, anywhere they click on this particular module will take them to this link. Always best practice if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab, that way your site's going to stay open. Now I don't want a background because I'm happy with what's going on there. I am going to put a little dark background around the whole thing when we've finished it. Let's move on to our design tab here. Here's our circle. I'm going to make the circle color itself white. I'm going to make the background blue, I believe. That's the bit that's left over there. And for my title, let's move down a bit more. And for my title text here, I'm going to bring that a little bit up in size and capitalize it. So I'm going to capitalize it. Let's perhaps make it semi bold and a bit bigger in size. So I'm going to roll down, bring that up whatever size you want yours. Great, well I'm fairly happy that with that, so I'm going to clone it and move on. So I'm going to save it, a little green check mark. I want to clone it, just go over to the module right there. Two little squares in between the cog and the circle. That's going to duplicate it. Drag one over, doesn't matter which one, because they're both the same. And we'll go into this one now. And let's say perhaps SEO or something like that. We'll change out that number. I move this across, you can see, there it is. And we'll do exactly the same again. Let's save our changes. I'm going to clone it one more time. Drag one across, again, it doesn't matter which one. And we'll go into this one. And let's call this one development. And we'll give it a different number. Great, well that's pretty good. But to make it stand out, let's just save this. I'm gonna wrap this whole row in a little background mask. So I'm gonna click on anywhere in this row, go into the green tab there. And I'm going to give it a background color. That'll make these circles stand out a bit more against that image in the background, but you'll still be able to see the image. So under the content tab, we're going to go down to the background. I'm going to add a simple black color. I'm going to click on the field and over to the right hand side, we've got a variegated slider, which is opacity or transparency or see throughness. Just take it down as much as you want to. We're still being able to see a bit of the image behind. As you can see, it's making that little counter pop and stand out a lot better. So I'm going to leave mine about there. Obviously, you adjust yours how you want to. And I'm going to give this slightly rounded corners as well. So in the design tab, I'm going to go down to border. Make sure the change checked. And let's give it, say, 20 pixels all around. Just put in the 20. It'll put in the pixels for you. And we've got little rounded corners there. If I save this. You can see that stands out a lot better. Let's also perhaps change the project's color to white. So we'll go in there, hit the little cog. I hit the little paintbrush to take me straight to it. And I'm going to change that to white. There we have it. Great. Now underneath our little stack counter here, I think I'd like to have just a little paragraph and maybe a call to action button. So again, I'm going to click on the row anywhere. I'm going to hit the green button to add a new row. I'm going to add a single column and inside I'm going to put a simple text module all the way down to the bottom. Anybody that wants to know what the blue ones are there, they're from a free plugin called Divi Supreme Light. The link's below if anybody wants to check it out. We're not using that one today though. Great, well I've put that in there and I'm going to leave the default in there. Obviously you'd have something specific to say. I don't, but I just wanted a paragraph in there. Let's go over to our design to the text. I'm going to pop it in the middle and make it light in color. Roll down a bit. We can pop it in the middle. Great. Now I just want to add a little call to action button down below. And we've actually got one up here, but we'll create one from scratch. You could copy the one from the top there. So I'm not going to add another row. I'll just add this to the row. So click inside the row, click on the module itself to add a new module. Just hit the little dark button right there to add a new module. And we'll add a button. 
And let's see, more information perhaps. It's great. Down below we'll put our link. I won't put a link in there just now, I'll just put a hashtag in there as a placeholder. But when we go through and do the menu at the end to link all these sections, we'll also do links for the buttons so we can have this scroll to a different section perhaps. Or they'll contact us if they want to reach out. Okay, design-wise, I want to make it similar to our top button, which is sort of purple and rounded. So I'm going to go design, alignment, I want it in the middle. Text. Well, actually, I'm going to leave that because I'm going to go straight into the button. So I'm going to go into the button. I'm going to turn the switch for use custom styles to, for button to yes. Text size is actually fine there. Button text color, I'm going to make that white. Button background, I'm going to make purple. I'm going to take away that border. I really don't want a border on my button there. So we've got button border width just down below. Just pop that down to zero. You've got no border. But I do want to give it rounded corners. And also when they hover over it, I'd like for it to change color. And I don't think I want that icon there. So I'm going to lose the icon and give it some rounded corners. First thing, let's give it that hover color. So when they're not hovering over it, it's going to be purple. When they put their mouse on it, I want it to be blue. Common to most Divi modules, if you just roll up to the dark writing to the thing that you want to affect, which is our button background here. If there's an arrow there, there is in this case, you've got a desktop state when the mouse is not on it. Fantastic, we'll leave that as purple. When they hover over it, I want it to change to blue. Fantastic. Now the default time that Divi takes to go from desktop to hover state is 300 milliseconds. If you want to slow it down or even speed it up, you can do so in your advanced tab, down to transitions. There's the default 300. You can slide it to the right to slow it down, to the left to speed it up. You can type in a value and you can increment up and down with the little arrows there. Transition delay, if you want their mouse to sit on it before it actually does any transition, you can add a delay time there. Speed curve, ease is good. Easy now, I tend to use for a lot of hover effects. They're all slightly different. Some will work different than others in certain situations, so do check them out. But ease is perfectly fine for this today. Great. So I just want to give it some rounded corners, back to our design, down to our button again. Let's roll down to button border radius. There it is. And let's give it, say, 50. And again, just put in the 50, it'll put it in the picks. And as you can see, that's giving it rounded corners. Okay, well, I didn't want an icon when I hover over it, so I'm going to roll down. Default, it's set to show the icon there. And you've got plenty to choose from. You can put in a search if you want to. Or there's a little button here that will break it out and let you scroll through. And there's a lot of scrolling to be done. They've just teamed up with Font Awesome 4. But like I say, I don't want my button in my case today, so I'm gonna simply switch that to off. Fantastic. Great. With buttons, it's not a bad idea to give it a bit of text shadow if I put some on there. See, it just slightly makes it stand out on that button. Okay. And let's just lift it off the page a bit with a box shadow. As we got a dark background, it won't make a whole lot of difference. But over the lighter parts, it will. All right, well, I'm fairly happy with my little project section here. Let's save the button changes there. We've got our button. We've got our little info paragraph. we got our counters and a title up there. So let's save the changes. Little purple button down here. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. Okay, well, let's roll down to where we were working. There's the about, there's the services, there's our little team section, and here's our project section with the animated counters going up there. And we've got our little title and a call to action button. And of course, we've got that parallax background. So there you go, guys. There's a nice little project section for you. In our next video, we'll start working on the testimonial section. And we've got a little testimonial slider going on there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.